Hey, what's up everybody? This is Armada DB from ArmadaDB.com. Today I'm going to talk about uh, maintaining um, a good size without having to use uh, performance enhancing uh, drugs. So a lot of pro friends of mine that don't compete or don't compete regularly, they just use 200 milligrams of testosterone a week just to maintain um, along with um, some peptides or some, some secretagogues. Um, you know, a lot of this is what I've learned. Yes, the pros do take good amounts of cycles when they do compete, but also when, um, you know, the ones that last the longest, they don't take that much stuff. And, um, you know, and if you, if you, the problem is also is a lot of these kids, they start and before they learn their uh, natural supplements or their, how to train right or how to eat right, they're like, okay, what do I need to do for my cycle? And that's so, that's so backwards. You know, uh, when I started, I started competing when I was 18. I got into it when I was 17. It was like, okay, I, what natural supplements do I like? You know, I remember I used to have the lean body uh, boxes. I used to drink so many of those. It, it, that wasn't even on my mind. And so it was about training hard and getting where I needed to be. And then that was like later on. And then when I first started all, all my first competitions that I won, it was very minimal stuff I took. I mean, even my clients now, they want, I get it, they want faster gains. People want, don't want to take the time to train 10 plus years to get where they need to be. That's why there's these other, you know, men's physique and classic physique also because uh, someone that could essentially be, you know, like a lot of these men's physique guys where they could never, you know, make it in bodybuilding, even with 10 years training because of their genetics. Um, and they were all, um, I remember, you know, coming up too, I had all these little men's physique guys, a lot of them top pros now, they would just, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? And you know, and they made a class for them, and then they gave them a little leeway. And let me tell you, those guys' heads blew up because they were just, you know, the difference between the real legit bodybuilders and fitness people and the wannabes. When the wannabes get a little leverage and maybe a little internet fame or whatever you want to call it, it takes off and it's ridiculous. And all all the bodybuilders and legit fitness fitness people know what I'm talking about. But um, going back to um, you know, like the testosterone replacement, a lot of people think these guys are taking all this shit year round and they're not. You cannot stay healthy on, you know, a full cycle year round. It's just, you know, it's just, people ask me when I get off too, they're like, well, what happens? Aren't I going to get softer? Yeah, you're going to get softer. You're not on a, a big cycle. Um, but I know several, uh, you know, good pros right now that when they're not competing, they do 200 milligrams of testosterone, maybe a little growth hormone and some peptides and that's it. And then when they compete, they add it in and they blow up because their receptor sites are so fresh. So the problem is, you know, when your receptor sites are, are over flooded with any drug, um, you have to take more and more and more. And so in the off season, the best thing to do, it's not always what people do because people want, like let's say a client comes to me, they're like, hey, I've got three years and I want to I want to turn pro if I don't I, will, I quit you know something that could uh, be more beneficial to them if they took five years they could be in a better place but they rather take the short route which I get it um, you know because when I started I had a plan it's like okay I started 18 by age 25 or 26 I wanted to be a pro and by age 30 I wanted to be a top pro and by age 40 I wanted to retire and so it didn't work out that way um, I was, I should have turned pro, a lot of people say that, I should have turned pro, some political stuff, legal stuff happened uh, when I was 27 or 28, where I was a clear winner, there was write-ups about it, I should have turned pro then, and then after that, I was supposed to go on to USA's to turn pro, but I had uh, two shoulder surgeries on this left shoulder, and that put me out, and then it put me more so into coaching, and I fell in love with that a lot more, because when you're competing and coaching, it's a lot harder, because you're selfish, it's all about you, but when you're not competing and you know, you put a lot more into, into your clients, and my clients started doing a lot better, and I focused on them. Now I have my own supplement company. But guys out there, like like for myself, like I maintain a body weight about 240 to 250. Um, it, I could even be more, but my appetite sucks. I don't train how I should. I train with my clients. If I if I didn't have any clients, I probably would hardly train at all. Um, and I use testosterone, testosterone replacement. Either I'll take my product Dominate. If I'm not taking that, I'll take testosterone Sipinate, 200 milligrams a week, sometimes 250, to keep me out about 1,000. 
or I'll do the pellets. My doctor buddy does them to me um, uh, for free, so I get clients in there that use them. And some people love the pellets. People with faster metabolisms burn through them a lot more. But you know, so these guys, so the the guys at the gym that you think are using all this stuff, you could have like let's let's call him bodybuilder one. He's 190 pounds and he's loaded to the max with you know several grams a week of 10 or 15 different compounds he's taking and he's like 190 pounds and you're like okay he's probably on a small cycle and he's not he's on everything and then you got someone like you know myself or other people that are stay around 240 250 you know fairly lean and they're taking testosterone replacement and they're way bigger than everybody else and a lot of it goes back to genetics training hard and when you were coming up these guys especially the men's physique classic physique guys they were just kind of like a lot of more normal guys they didn't train hard they didn't do all the basic stuff so they didn't have that foundation so with me i'm going to talk about myself when i was coming up i trained super hard i trained balls to the wall threw up all the time you know i trained crazy i love training that was a part of bodybuilding now it's just going to the gym picking which fruity tank you like the best taking um taking your selfies which selfie works the best in you know uh, and posting it every day and I get it you know to grow your social media you have to take all these stu stupid selfies that's why my social media is not as high as it could be because I refuse to do a social media to do a selfie picture every single day you know, who has who's got that covers those immense physique guys good job y'all y'all got us covered so we don't have to do that but I'm not making fun of y'all it's just it's well I kind of am it's just it's just a different it's just a different league you got bodybuilding up here which is like you know the pinnacle of things and i think even at the with the arnold classic um first place william i think he won like 200 240 thousand dollars 240 thousand or something like that i could be wrong and then like the classic physique winner won like four thousand dollars so people want to say that like classic physique is ta taken over it's not they're not going to pay a classic physique guy ever the amount they're going to pay a bodybuilder because bodybuilders work their ass off and these physique guys they work hard too the classic physique and if you think these guys are taking any less than these bodybuilders you're wrong um i talked to a lot of them i talked to their coaches they're taking the same stuff as a lot of these bodybuilders a lot of these bodybuilders they just have a further background they've been training longer they've been working harder they've been you know just doing it longer uh, a lot of classic physique guys you see them and they're you're like where do they come from and you'll see pictures of them a few years prior and they're just skinny looking normal average guys because they get on a good cycle they get a good coach they build that classic shape and boom they're set and they have to have the stand within that weight limit so it's not like each year they have to worry about putting on all this mass and everything but the cycles out there guys they're crazy you know on the pro level they can get a little crazy um, even on the amateur level but it's not needed, you know, make sure, I tell people this, make sure everybody's like, well, I know a guy, you know, he says a chemist does this and that, listen, chemists are not wasting their time making gear in their bathtub. Chemists don't do that. Chemists have a legit job, so they're not chemists. They're maybe, they're their own chemists, but they're not, uh, they don't have their, their you know, degree in chemistry and making junk in their, in their bathtub so they can get busted and get a freaking five year prison sentence, you know? So, you know, if you if you're gonna spend money, there's plenty of sites out there, legit sites too, that you can get quality prescription stuff. And people's like, well, I don't want to pay, I don't want to pay a hundred dollars a bottle. Listen, just break it down. How stupid that sounds. I don't want to pay a hundred dollars a bottle for some legitimate pharmacy stuff that you know milligram for milligram what's going in your body. I would rather pay forty bucks to the local guy at the gym that labels his own bottles, makes his own stuff. I don't know what the hell's in there. I'm injecting this stuff into my body. It's going through my kidneys. It could potentially have heavy metals, all kinds of bullshit impurities in there. So I'd rather spend the $40 on this bullshit bottle than $100 on some prescription. And when I hear people say that, that's just so idiotic. Spend the extra money. So let's say your cycle list is like this and it's you're getting it from your local neighbor and it's $40 a bottle make it like this 
and just use only prescription stuff. And you, most of the prescription stuff you can get from your doctor. I mean, you can get you get Deca, Anavar, um, Testosterone, Arimidex, T3. Uh, you, you, I think you can still get Anadrol and Holotester from some. Boom, that's a great one, right? Great cycle right there to win. You know, if you have the genetics, a national show. But you know, compounds like Trin and stuff like that. That stuff, it's really strong. It'll put a lot of weight on you and you'll blow up, but it's so toxic. You know, I don't recommend running that longer than eight weeks. Some people stay on that year round and that's crazy. So what the message is guys, you can look good on testosterone replacement, use some peptides or a secreted GOG like MK677. Check that out on my site. I promise you it's the best uh, growth hormone secreted GOG you use. It's called Seromax, it's on my site. ArmadaDB.com, everybody loves it. And the Dominate is a testosterone anti-estrogen one. You could use that post-cycle therapy when you're not on any testosterone at all. And that's what I do. I either take the Dominate, and I made that actually for myself. And of course I sell it my, it's in my supplement company now, or I'll take testosterone placement, which will be like 200 milligrams a week. I'm not trying to get bigger. I feel great between 240 and 250. Um, I can breathe, I can, I'm active. At 270, I was feeling terrible, and I'm not competing right now. Maybe in the future, if I get some bug too, but uh, you know, these competitors, they're not making any money. If they're telling you otherwise, they're lying. You know, if they're, if they're, they're they might be making money from training, prepping, and all that, but they're not making money from contracts. Um, my supplement company, I've got great athletes, I got four of them. Um, as I grow as a company, I'm gonna be looking for more and more um, athletes. And what I look for in an athlete, if someone wants to be sponsored, you have to understand what can you do for the company. So what can you do for my company? Um, some people don't even have a big following, but they have people follow them. And if that person says, hey, take this product, this is a legit product, Armand takes it, I take it, it works. It's not nonsense, there's no fillers in it. Um, I don't, you know, you don't have to have 50,000 followers, you know, most people buy their, fo their followers anyway, so um, that's what I'm looking for in a sponsored athlete, so always reach out to me um, and that. And the thing with me and coaching and all that, I will shoot you straight. One coach will say, yeah, bro, we'll turn you pro, you know, you, you got to do this, you got to do that, and we'll get you there. And in honesty, you know, they probably will never turn pro. And by the time they figure that out, this coach has taken thousands of dollars from them. Um, and I'm not the coach either. So there's little weasel coaches. They'll go after like the genetic freaks and they'll go after them and after them and after them. And, and those genetic freaks, they can eat pizza and ice cream on prep and still freaking get their pro card. They have crazy genetics. So looking for a coach, look at the transformations. Look at someone, not someone that has Mr. Olympia or someone that has this. Look at someone that takes an average Joe that looks like shit to a shredded competitor that wins or does amazing. And that's what I do. I love taking people, you know, and transforming their bodies. And I love doing it. I'll, it boosts their self-confidence. It boosts their, I mean, I see people change within a six month period. But stay humble though, don't get all cocky. But uh, like I said, this is Armana DB again. Check out my site. Um, email me with questions about signing up for prep. A lot of people ask, what is an Intel? It's very simple. Uh, it says on my website what the programs entail. So as soon as you pay, that's when we get started with all the, you know, we're gonna have you on point, trust me. You hire me, um, you're gonna always be able to get a hold of me. You're never gonna be like, where's Armand? He's not gonna, the only time I will do that if you're not following your program. Get with me, follow your program, we'll get you to the top. Whether that be a novice show win, open show win, pro card, you know, a lot of people are competing in other countries now. Whatever you want to do, I'm here for you guys. I love to see people win. I generally, you know, love, you know, the, the sport, and I love to see people do well. Um, since I stepped out of it, I lived through my clients. Everybody, take care.